After mo ma-download ang Wi-Fi password scanner, i-double click mo lang para mag-run ang program. Tapos, ganito ang makikita mo. Sa gitna, mayroong button click to start scanning. Tapos, ipapap window will inform you that the program is now running. Antayin mo lang na matapos yung run. Mapapansin mo na yung terminal window is keep on popping then closing. Don't worry about that dahil ginagamit ng program ang terminal to run the specific command using the sub-process. After a successful scan, it will generate a text file kung saan nakasave lahat ng Wi-Fi profile with password. Sa nakaraang video, itinuro ko sa inyo kung paano makukuha ang Wi-Fi password nyo gamit ang command prompt ng Windows computer. Sa video natin ngayon, matututunan natin kung paano i-automate ang buong proseso. Dito, matututo kayo ng mga simpleng Wi-Fi hacks sa pamamagitan ng paggawa ng code gamit ang Python. So without further ado, let's get started. Dito, gagamit tayo ng Visual Studio Code para magsulat ng code. To begin, we will import sub-process. Kailangan natin ito para magamit natin ang mga system command ng computer. Then we will also use another library for regular expressions. Then para mabilis tayo, I have here already an existing line of code. I-copy-paste ko na lang. This is our first command to run using sub-process function. Then we will find all the result profiles from our command output variable. This time, we will create an empty list to store all Wi-Fi username and password. But mamaya pa natin ito gagamitin. Ngayon, i-check natin kung may nakuha ba tayong Wi-Fi profile sa ating computer. Kung positive, this time we will use for loop to extract each profile. We will create another variable, an empty dictionary to append all the results for each ISIS ID with corresponding password. Then we will execute another command inside the subprocess function. This will capture each profile information using an ISIS ID. Then we will make if the next condition to check if security key is present or not. If password is present, store the ISIS ID. Another command to execute, it is to get the password of that ISIS ID. Then we will have another if then else condition to filter out the result. Then we will append all the details to our first declared variable. Ito yung Wi-Fi list. Finally, we can now print all the Wi-Fi details found in your computer with password on it. Kung hindi mo kayang gawin sa computer mo ang ginawa nating program, no problem because I have a prepared program tool for you using the same code na itinuro ko sa inyo ngayon. All you need to do is download the file, go to download folder, extract the zip file, and run the program. If you see this warning, just click more info, then click run anyway. 